Ponto. Where you have been deserted, so that no man will pass through you, I call you an eternal excellency. Hear me, in the name of Jesus, the anointing for speed, I place that anointing on you now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. I release that grace. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed in destiny. Speed in career. May my God take 10 years and put it in one year. 10 years and put it in one year. I'm hearing in my spirit shame I don't know who that is for shame everything that has looked like shame is like a mark on your head everywhere you go it attracts shame I don't know who this word is for but in the name of Jesus that cause of shame be broken now be broken now be broken now be broken now shame and reproach in ministry be broken now shame and reproach in business career failure be broken now i want you to pray a prayer and then we'll continue say in the name of jesus i obtain grace to advance grace to go forward open your mouth and begin to pray grace grace to advance you are gaining momentum in the spirit don't be silent pray grace to advance this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind and reaching for the things that are before me. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus name we pray please be seated for a minute give us Philippians chapter 3 again I want you to look at verse 14 very carefully verse 14 the power of God is mighty in this place you came to church tonight how will you go back the same no no for God is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent I'm hearing a prophetic word for someone is one word again 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 is a prophetic word this is not the first time I'm hearing it in a meeting is the word again I am coming to you again you are rising again ah. what you once held that left you by carelessness again God is bringing it again it's not for everyone but i'm saying it to someone you lost opportunities relationships resources my god is bringing it again restoring again lifting you again giving you visibility again please be seated I'm seeing fire fall. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. I'm seeing fire fall. Shepherd, 
a break at the altar. Oh, let it fall, let it fall. Let it give you wings in the spirit. Wings to fly, wings to soar, wings to fly, wings to soar. In the name of Jesus. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Oh, holy, holy, as I see who comes in the name of God. As I see who comes in the name of God. As I see who comes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Let's tidy this up. The time we have. But I want you to be sensitive. Something is happening to your spirit man. Listen. You see. You must learn to discern spiritual atmospheres. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. There are two ladies I'm seeing in the choir right now. I just saw fire. Just coming on them. Two of you. In the name of Jesus, I don't know what that impartation is for, but may that grace cause you to ascend in the spirit. Ascend in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. I know we are discussing along the lines of the team, but the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing a man of God. And the Lord is saying his gift to you tonight is the spirit of revelation. You have been praying, you have been crying. This is a minister of the gospel. Wherever that man is, whether inside or outside, in the name of Jesus, I call upon the God that gives men, the one who can open the eyes of men to see. In the name of Jesus, like the dew of Hammon, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Am I wasting your time? I just sense that God is beginning to, I was to teach something now, but I just sense there is a stirring. Someone's fasting has touched the heart of God. Someone's praying has touched the heart of God. Take it high for me, please. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Holy Ghost power, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper, rest on me. Rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit for signs and wonders, rest on me. Rest on me, oh, rest on me, 
Rest on me. Rest on me. Rest on me, oh God. The power to prosper. Rest on me. The spirit of wisdom. Rest on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're having a little chat with Pastor, and I was just commending on the grace that God has brought and multiplied upon his life, the ministry spreading across. I want to release a grace for visibility. If you like, believe it. If you like, don't believe it. But there is a grace that gives men visibility hear me just because you are graced and gifted does not mean the nations will hear you there are many gifted people who have been kept down the bible says gideon sounded a trumpet and thirty-three thousand people showed up where they came from we do not know but there was a trumpet that they had and they began to gravitate towards him there is a grace that when it rests upon you you cannot be small no it's true because many of you here i sense in my spirit you are faithful you are diligent but that grace that becomes a leverage is not there i pray for someone here in the name that is above all names the grace that gives men visibility that will cause your voice that will cause your products that hear ye him anointing may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now in the name of jesus please be seated please be seated Now, what I'm about to give you are prophetic instructions. I want you to just listen to them. Instructions are enhancers to destiny manifestation. He says, my son, pay attention to my words. He says, incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your heart. Keep them in the midst of thee. They are life, not to everyone, to those who find them and health to their flesh hallelujah those who train pilots are not called coaches they are called instructors because they give them direct precepts if you keep with it you will soar in the air you compromise you may crash in a moment hallelujah and the lord gave me this just to encourage you on this over dwelling on the past and then the next is a rundown of a few prophetic instructions let me just walk with the time that i have and then I finally speak over your life. Honestly, this is the year your life will really produce results. <laughs> you see, when you hear words like this, don't get used to entertainment on TV and just believe everybody who is speaking is entertaining. No. Gabriel looked at Zechariah and said, I am Gabriel that came from the presence of God. Find out where men are coming from before you vet what they are saying. No, not everybody is a joker. I say it again. In the name of Jesus, the one who called an anointed man, the one who has so given us graces, this year, 2024, may my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. You believe what you are hearing? Let's get a few prophetic instructions and then we'll pray. Thank you, Jesus. Just hold for me now the person who shouts loud under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out. 
you just hold them so that they don't run around oh, oh, oh. rest on me oh, oh, oh rest on me oh, oh, oh. Spirit of wisdom, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me, rest on me. Let your power for signs and wonders. Rest on me, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh. There is a young man here. This was allow me to do my thing. The Spirit of God keeps prevailing over me. There is a young man here. You have not started ministry yet, but this year. There is an anointing that has been searching for you. You have been quiet walking in the spirit. You are in this place. The Lord is asking me to speak that grace over your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, for that young man, silent in the cave of Adulam, being walked upon by the spirit, let this anointing that will begin to announce you in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, Paris Kani Shalaka Pariata. Ebra kate bareke skadi nas kabai karia shabareke pariata ele kate fresh kabe ne kabai krike bete kabe kata kapariata ebra teish kabe etras kabe ta kariata kapri kapus kariata may you arise and shine by the spirit of grace may you arise and shine by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone who is full of faith begin to pray in the spirit in one minute. Pray in the spirit in one minute. Pray in the spirit in one minute. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, are a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head but thou O oh Lord are a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou O oh Lord are a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head after me as loud as you can say father one more time say father in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that my life will be a revelation of the glory of God I receive by faith all your promises for me go ahead and begin to pray I receive Someone is praying. I receive in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. And this is the confidence that we have in Him that when we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. Go ahead and pray. Sabakata braskata belakatash. Oh, I receive by faith. Go ahead and pray. Divine health, speed, favor, lifting by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
Online pray, outside pray, man of God pray, businessman pray, worshippers pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, I'm just going to speak over the sick. I feel stirred in my heart to pray. We may not have time to take the testimonies, but you can take that, you know, on Sunday. You can come and testify. But I want to pray, particularly for the sick. And then I want to speak the favor of God over your life. And then we'll do the prayer. There are many things to pray for, but these two things, your body and then to program a climate of favor over you. Many people have disrespected the power of the prophetic. You will be joking. Just because there are abuses and imbalances does not mean you throw away the prophetic ministry. It's an advantage that God gave us we transit realms we are changed upon the power of prophecy hallelujah i want to pray for the sick now listen to me the revelation behind healing is god's commitment to preserve your body and to give you the vitality needed to serve him and to represent him it's important you understand this when the sick are healed is beyond an attestation that a man of god is anointed no god's goal is way bigger than that it is god's commitment towards giving you sustained vitality it says they that be planted in the house of god it says they will flourish in the courts of our god that even in old age they will be fat and flourishing it then means that if you tolerate infirmity and sickness of any kind and any sort in your body it is your participation with darkness to cut short your life every manifestation of sickness is death being administered in a measure and according to the pattern of how satan works when he touches an area and you allow him unrestrained he will move further this is what he did to the church the early church the bible says herod made a commitment to vex certain jews and they caught james and beheaded james and the church kept quiet when he saw that it pleased the people the bible said he proceeded further satan touches your health you are quiet he proceeds further to your children proceeds further to your finances but then when we get to verse 5 the church became angry the bible says while he was waiting so that when you know the feast was over the bible says the church came together but prayer was made by the church unto god for him and angels came to the rescue the same angels that rescued peter were available to rescue james father in the name of jesus i lay my hands by faith upon everyone who is sick in their bodies i'm seeing people lift medical reports i'm seeing people lifting photos of their loved ones i wanted to connect by faith i'm about to speak to you now the bible says by his stripes we were healed peter said the spirits that are at the back of every infirmity here represented in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god we take authority over those spirits now shout a believing amen now shout a believing amen now every spirit that is back of any infirmity plaguing god's people i decree and i declare that you give way now and i minister the life and the power of jesus to your body i declare be healed now be healed now be healed now my God be healed now eye conditions be healed now blood conditions of any kind and any sort be healed now bone conditions be healed now I tell you I sense such a strong anointing of the Spirit of God I'm praying for someone who has 
a severe pain around your ankle in the name that is above all names be healed this moment there is a lady your left eye you are seeing please help them in the name of jesus i'm seeing you have severe pain when you look it's like you are look you are, you are seeing an object your left eye the power of god is touching you right now i bring you life i bring you healing in the name of jesus i've seen these kinds of conditions many times and the lord is asking me to announce it again you are a lady your circle happens twice a month it is very irregular it comes with excruciating pain the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ i cast that devil from your body all kinds of growths fibroids lumps i declare they die now in the name of jesus christ you're having severe pain especially at the left side of your neck when you turn it this happened when you woke up one morning i'm praying for you now the power of god is touching you this moment i don't know what hospital is in garki but i'm seeing someone in a hospital there and the power of god is touching that person right now garki a hospital there in the name that is above all names let there be a miracle for you right now let there be a miracle for you right now i'm seeing a woman sit on a chair and holding a child this child should be about maybe four or five years he has autism autism this is what is wrong with that child this is a woman from united kingdom you are sitting with your child he has autism let the power of god touch that child now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you are having problems with your knee your knee particularly your kneecap you're not able to bend this way not without pain the power of god is touching you right now the lord is showing me a lady you had a dream in that dream you saw yourself breastfeeding a baby from the time you woke up you've been having excruciating pain particularly the right side of your breast i cause that spirit right now i cause that spirit right now lumbar spondylosis be healed peptic ulcer be healed migraine headaches be healed i say it again migraine headaches be healed i command cancer to die sugar diabetes be healed pile the lord is healing someone from pile painful pile be healed in jesus name i'm seeing somebody having recurrent malaria recurrent it keeps coming you treat it it comes you treat it i command that spirit to give way now in the name of jesus christ there's someone having your heart is not palpitating but you are having breathing problems if you lie down in a room you know how an asthma patient is you don't have asthma but this thing affects your breathing i'm seeing sometimes you stand close to the window so you are able to breathe enough air i want to pray for you anything wrong with your veins and your arteries that the devil is programming death no matter what it is called i curse it now by the god of heaven in the name of jesus heart palpitations be healed lupus be healed rheumatoid arthritis be healed in the name of jesus christ the lord is showing me a man i'm seeing a man sitting you are beginning to have the initial stages of prostate cancer in the name that is above all names wherever you are whether you are here or following online by the god that we serve we call prostate by its name and we cause cancer by the god of heaven in the name of jesus the lord is ministering to me there is a lady you're not you're not you don't have a child but you are lactating you're lactating you don't have a child this is something you've gone to the hospital for 
in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, let that satanic occurrence come to an end now. Memory loss. I'm hearing memory loss. Memory loss. You forget things. This is beginning to affect you in your place of work. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you. You have the mind of Christ. You have the mind of Christ. You have the mind of Christ. The Lord is asking me to speak over someone. I'm ministering healing, but every time something good is about to happen, you go to bed and you have a dream. Some person will come to molest you. And the moment you wake up, whether it's a job or some opportunity, it just leaves. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, we severe you from the influence of those spirits. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a couple the Lord is asking me to minister to. The problem affecting fertility is the man. This is a problem that is common to men. And yours is an acute problem. You need a miracle. This is not something drugs or supplement can correct. You are not able to get your wife pregnant. I want you to believe that the power of God is in this place. God who quickened the body of Abraham. That Isaac came even by natural means. Let that power that raised Christ from the dead quicken your mortal body now. Quicken your mortal body now. Quicken your mortal body now. I'm hearing a name. Zuera. This is the name that I'm hearing. Zuera. This should be another name. In the name of Jesus, I pray for that person, whether here or online. Every infirmity. I'm saying this is something that has to do with your heart. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I bring you life and healing. Life and healing. Life and healing. Life and healing. There is a woman God is asking me to pray for. We're wrapping up. Um, although this woman is on the big side, it is not because of her weight that she's having mobility problems. I'm saying that there is a problem just right here i'm literally feeling the pain from here i'm not a medical doctor i might not be able to give it all the explanation needed but in the name of jesus that pain at your right side is affecting mama's mobility as the church of the lord jesus christ we cause that pain now we cause that pain now we cause that pain now hearing problems be healed now Speech problems be healed now. I feel set up in my heart to just speak. This is not word of knowledge, but it's just out of an information I know, particularly around Europe. The case of mental health and autism, these two cases is plaguing children, particularly in their teenage. We stand in faith right from here. We are speaking to the nations, but particularly we release our faith over the children in europe from nigeria to europe extending to canada america this plague this spirit of mental health destroying people at their productive years we call it by name and we cause it by the god of heaven we cause it by the god of heaven in the name of jesus christ can i declare favor over you Truly, there is a grace called favor. I want you to convince yourself that there is such a grace and it can rest upon a man. It brings systems and structure under pressure and compels men to treat you with benevolence, with kindness. There are three biblical indices to measure the presence of favor. Number one, unusual kindness. When the grace for favor is on you, men, related and unrelated, they are compelled by this grace to show you unusual kindness. Number two is unusual acceptance. Acceptance beyond the prejudices of tribe, race, gender. This is what happens when you receive the grace for favor. Number three is unusual access. Access. This is how you know that the favor of God has rested upon you. The Bible says, watch this now. It says, 
in esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the b part says and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her verse 17 says and the king loved esther more than all the virgins he now placed a royal apparel upon her head and made her queen instead of vashti exodus 3 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty psalms 44 and verse 3 they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their arms save them but thou O lord and thy right hand the light of your countenance because thou hast a favor towards them i pray for you standing in partnership with the grace upon the angel in this house i decree and declare from the transforming church to all those who are connected i stand as a privileged steward of this grace in the name that is above all names let this grace for favor let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you now unusual access let it rest upon you from the depth of my spirit i release that grace upon you let it work wonders in your life favor in your career favor in ministry favor in business favor in family even pharaoh must favor you help that woman in the name of jesus hear me by this prayer every door that has been closed over your life i stand upon the grace of the man of god and i speak to that door a father be open a father be open a father be open 2024 hear the word of the lord be open now when jesus was born even as a baby with no ability to help himself that grace spoke and the magi right from where they were the bible says these were adults and they carried gifts of gold of frankincense and myrrh they were taking it to a baby not an adult i'm praying for you again this is an advantage we have in the kingdom may favor rest upon you and let it begin to speak from this night in the name of jesus favor that brings establishment favor that connects you to strategic men in the name of jesus ministers of the gospel let favor bring helpers for you helpers of the war in the name of jesus christ this year i forbid you from being alone I forbid you from crying alone in the name of Jesus the grace that helped Hagar in the desert Hagar was crying together with her baby and when God spoke to her she looked and saw an oasis springing forth I declare the oasis that must spring from your desert let it begin now can we pray I'm going to request um, since we're praying on it together is that fine Reverend Sam okay please let me request the ushers please bring the prayer request and then please bring it can you guys pour it here can you bring them all here let your spirit spirit of wisdom rest on me rest on me let your spirit spirit of wisdom Rest on me, rest on me, oh, rest on me, oh, rest on me, oh, rest on me, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, let your power, power to prosper, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me, rest on me. Hallelujah. Shama Sabara, open your mouth and begin to pray. Kratalis, Kabe, Shikatalatas, Salaratos, Yadavalandos, Rapto Fel and the Susevredia. 
Yenda basso frenasco pedisa. Erba rossi vela cattosi. Shaparatos de veriando. Sabrasca paranda bacata frasca de vela yapa. Rakata parakata 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 frasca de vela yapa. In Jesus' name, Amen. I'd like you to just place your right hand on your head as you pray right now. And let me say this the first person to ever walk up to me and say, Reverend Sam, there's a grace for cross cultural influence on you, was Pastor Kunle Shorion, the second person was Apostle Selman recognizing that grace God has been so merciful we can't even share things in the public the Bible say he is the one that busts your confinements from today whatsoever is the reason for your confinement it is over I say the Lord Bust your confinements. Servant of God, the Lord bust your confinements. Inside and outside, the Lord bust your confinements. Single lady, single man, the Lord bust your confinements. I decree and declare from today your branches will begin to spread over the walls you are uncontainable from today you are unstoppable from today you are irresistible from today you begin to spread out you begin to move out you begin to advance begin to advance break barriers break limitations break obstacle move higher move forward advance progress flourish thrive locally and internationally go to the nations go to the nations your doors are open your gates are open your gates are open in the name of jesus hallelujah listen to me please listen the greatest way and the most potent way to transfer graces is through words hallelujah words he said, if you had known of the dispensation of the oh, grace that yes, was given Lord, unto yes. me for you, word. Given to me for you. I want to release the grace for visibility. <laughs> Listen to me. Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2. My God. The Bible says, and it shall come to pass. If thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe and to do all that I command you this day. It says that you shall be exalted above all, not some all the nations of the earth from tonight like a candle that has been lit i forbid you from remaining small yes i forbid you from remaining small may that grace for visibility rest upon you access to the nations of the earth access to the hearts of kings in the name of jesus hey! hallelujah when saul met with samuel yes. three things happened samuel said is it not because the lord has anointed yes. you to be a captain over his inheritance i pray for you the anointing that makes you a captain the bible calls it an oil of gladness that makes you above your fellows may that grace rest upon you now and samuel told saul he said as you return the first thing is restoration that the donkey that has been missing would have been back home yeah. we prophesy that everything you have lost 
in 2023 we decree and declare let it be a balance brought forward for you yes in the mighty name of jesus i speak restoration yes i speak restoration yes i speak restoration yes. number two he said you will meet with three men uh, yeah, yeah. each of them holding two loaf yes sir. they will salute you and they will give, they will to, give you. to you and he says of them receive yes where are your helpers of hey! destiny we decree and declare yes, from january to december 2024 Shabara. enjoy the ministry Shabara. of Shabara. destiny helpers yes enjoy the ministry of destiny yes! helpers number three it says you will come to the garrison of the philistines and that the spirit of god will come upon you and you will begin to prophesy yes i pray for you yes the unction that turns you to another man hey. another man in hey. business another man in ministry yes. another man in worship yes. another man in family another life man. let that grace rest upon you yes the grace that makes abraham abraham hey! the grace that makes sarai sarah the grace that makes sifa Peter. the grace that makes jacob israel the grace to become another man receive it in jesus name yes! my god can i request before we pray on the request here yes. can you stretch your hands towards us the Bible says that God will bless the works of your hands. Ah. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. Listen, Job said in the days of my youth, ah. when his light, his candle was upon my tabernacle, yes. you see, there were two kinds of light that Job had. One upon his head and another upon his path. Yes. The one on his head was for illumination. The one on his path was for direction. And the benefit of the light upon his head was seen in the works of his hands. I want to pray for you. Ah. In the name of Jesus, yes. we release our faith. Yes. Nothing dies in your hands. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing dies in your hands. Nothing. Nothing dies in your hands. Yes. Let blessing meet blessing on your hands. Hey. May the Lord make your hands strong. Yes. May the Lord prosper the works of your yes. hands in the name of Jesus. Yes. My God. Stretch your hands in this direction, Father. I lift up this request before you. And we ask that you who answers prayer will answer every prayer here. Grant your children their heart's desires. Amen. Let the sick be healed. Amen. Let your doors be open. Return with testimonies of liftings. Your promotion comes early. Your visa granted early. Your project is finished early. The land enters your hands. What you've been waiting for receive. Your request is granted. Your request is granted. Your joy coming now. Your doors are open. Your favor is granted. Rise to the next level. Rise to the next level. Enter your next dimension. Be supernaturally married. I decree increase on every side multiplication no more delays no more delays no more affliction no more reproach it is done hallelujah please allow me release one more grace before we are done the greatest investment of the spirit upon my life is a grace for encounters the Bible says, blessed is the man that God causes to approach him. You see, if all we receive are just things, we did not receive much. There is a grace that compels men. You see, hunger is a gift. Hunger 
is proof of health. You are about to receive something very heavy right now. The first thing that happens when a, an individual is sick is the loss of appetite. You use the loss of appetite as a layman's way of diagnosing the presence of sickness. That means when you lose spiritual hunger, it's a sign that something is wrong. And there are people because of the vicissitudes of life, because of the, the challenges, the wear and tear of life, many here have lost their passion. Passion for the things of God, passion for prayer, passion for fasting, passion for the word. They've lost touch with consecration. They've lost touch with all that makes men mighty. We stand in agreement and we pray for you. In the name that is above all names. Yes, Lord. Yes. Fire from heaven. Hey! That reignites your prayer life. Yes. Fire from heaven. Fire. That reignites your word study yes. life. Fire from heaven. Yes. That reignites your passion yes. for God. Receive it now. Hey. Receive it now. Hey. Receive hunger. Yes. Hunger for oh, church. Yes. Hunger for God. Hey. Hunger for the things of God. Hey. Hunger for the study of hey. the word. Hunger for prayer. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey. That regardless the level you have attained in the spirit. Yes, Lord. I plant in you from tonight. A holy dissatisfaction. Hey. Uh, let it drive you to fast. Hey. Let it drive you to pray. Let it drive you to fast. Hey. Let it drive you to pray. Hey. Let it drive you to fast. Hey. Let it drive you to pray. Hey. Let it drive you to study. Hey. Let it drive you to give. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey. If Reverend Sam will lend me one more minute, yes. I want to cause mm. the spirit of greed and connection to material things this may look like an unnecessary prayer but listen carefully there are many who do not have because god knows that if he gives them it will have them. oh my god are we together yes god fights everything that takes his place even if he's the one who gave you materialism is not having materials materialism is getting to a point where you exalt materials to be the god in your life replacing the position of the christ and this is the tragedy of many believers ministry can become an idol hey. yes sir preaching can become an idol business can become an idol nothing in itself destroys until it is connected to a heart condition that exalts it above god i want to pray by this prayer a circumcision will happen to someone listen there are many of you god wants to prosper you he wants to open doors but you see the hindrance to your becoming and to your entering the next level is not necessarily demonic is that there is a heart condition god wants to prepare so that when the billions and the millions come when the exaltation and the increase comes you will remember the lord your god that's what he told the people i pray for you every mundane connection to things that has made you exalt money position titles above and beyond the christ we dethrone it now we dethrone it now we dethrone it now every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome finally i declare before i let reverend sam continue by this time next year gilgal 2025 except if you don't plan to be alive but for as long as you plan to be alive i prophesy to you return 10 times better return 10 times better spiritually financially yes. career wise yes. the 10 times better anointing yes. let it rest upon you in the name of jesus hey. 
Sacre de Belegate Palada Barantas Cadibali Sabria Haskada Embrecate Paca Pras Cadilla Caprasco Sedecate Belecatosia Send the Brandegate Belecatos Coto Pradegate Belecata Prahaska da Balada Bos Sapres Cates 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 Imbracata Parato Coto Pradegate Belecate Brandos Coto Balatos Sebrate gete beleke tos kate branda gata braske debata Embra kata barotos koto brende ke baretos koto brende gete Imbra kata braske te beleke te branda gata bros koto bala kata Sabra kata barata kata brende ke te leke te broto kotos Sabra kata gata shka braske te beleke to bros Embra kata branda gata beleke te bros koto bos Shaka tabara daba katabra dega dega tebe dega te imbra katabra tos koto pronto koto para kades kade fras kade balan tos koto bros raka tabra dega tebe kato pronto koto prega te imbra kate kato koto prato koto prega te kate shaka tabra dega daba kato pronto koto bata kato koto prega te sabra kaka tabra dega tabra dega te bala kato koto bate. Sabra kete kete brando koto brando koto bala katos. Kata bra kete bala katos. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Let your eyes be on Jesus. Shi kete bra kete brando koto brando kete bala ka. Embra kete baro koto brando kete bala katos. Sabrenda skate kete bala katos katos. Embra kete bara kete bras koto barusia. Sabranda skate kate parika ti brandi ke belekos. Sabraga te bereke te bereke te balakatos. Sade brande ke te beleke te brato kos koto brande ke paraha sade balata. Your life will never be the same. I assure you. Your life will never be the same. You are about to encounter grace indeed. Shaka te bereke tos kati la baranta ka prende gete balatosia. Shaka te ke parato katusa prende gete. Five more minutes. Don't be distracted. Imbra ke te parato skoto prando koto prende gete beleke ta. Shabra ka ta baranta ka skata prende gete baratos. Imbra ka ta prege te berente ke skoto prodosha. Imbre teleke te brosa sike te meleke ta Shabra kata barandos kodo balaka toski adama Shabra kata bereke te kate meleke te brandos kodo baka tos Shabra kata barika te brande kate bereke tos kodo brata Imbra kata kata brande kate brande kate balaka tosha kate Sacrete casco do bande brash cali brada gata balados. Sabrende gete bele gete prosco do barata balaga do brande gete bele gata. Sacrete gete brande gete bele gete prosca di balados. Manda braga ta para gatos ko do brande gete bele gato skadiata. This is part of the meeting. Kate brende kate bele kate prakatos kate brende kata. Awake thou that sleepest. Manta brende kate prakatos koto brende kate balata. Embra kata brende kados. Awake thou that sleepest. Manta prakata 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 prakate. Sabra kate brende kate bele kate koto brende kate. Sabre kate bele kate brende kate balatos. Sabra kete bele kete baratos kati prati kata bala. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. 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 Now, please, I want you to listen very carefully because your life is truly about to change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, hear me. There are people who will start running by the anointing. I want you to hold them and bring them out. I want to release a grace for speed, like physically delay, help them so they don't injure themselves. I stretch my hand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic everyone here hold them ushers please be sensitive in the name of jesus whether you are an usher or not by the power that raised christ from the dead every yoke of delay bring them out i decree and declare let the grace for speed and ambra state i stand by this apostolic anointing may that grace rest upon you now take that grace now Take that grace now. Life to your years. Please don't come out at random. It's the Spirit of God that is bringing them out. Bring them out. No more delay. Regardless what has kept you, I release you by the Spirit of grace. Ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. Sakra takata pakata. Grapentas katalakataba. Every altar of delay that has tied down any destiny here. Every altar of delay that has tied down any individual. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And fire will come upon you. Bring them out, please. Whether you are an usher or not, help the ushers. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command a release. I prophesy a release by the Spirit of grace. An umbra state, something is happening to your soil. Brandeke parakatos kadiapa. Embreke de katus kote brandeke de. Listen to me. I want to prophesy to you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen. Everything that was lost. And everything that was stolen. Now hear me. Please listen carefully. Don't be distracted. As I walked into this place, I was hearing the sounds of chains that was what i was hearing chains that have held families down chains that have held many for many generations i'm about to release you by the spirit now hear me at the count of three if god be god as you shout jesus every altar over an umbra, i stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic by ancestry and inheritance and witchcraft for the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and it says where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty are you ready to shout at the count of three bring them out one two three shout Jesus I command those altars release them now release your destinies now gates be broken bars of iron be broken, gates be broken, bars of iron be broken, 